Diamond is a, an accelerator and accelerates electrons. Unlike CERN, which accelerates protons and then smashes them together and see what happens, we're using the accelerator just to accelerate electrons, and the electrons generate X-rays when they're bent by a magnetic field. And it's the X-rays we're interested in. So the X-rays that we produce can be likened to a hospital X-ray source. But a, a hospital X-ray source is more like a light bulb, whereas diamond is more like a laser. So the X-ray is much more intense, uh, much more focused, and they have a much wider range of energies available. A number of scientists have said to me that they've, particularly on, the, for example, on the score poor core spectroscopy beamline, that they've seen data on their on their analysis that they've never seen before, because of their such good quality of the. Uh, the results. So we spent a lot of time looking at things like uh, EMC and cable management in order to improve this, uh, lower the amount of electrical noise we get on our signals. And so that's paid dividends in that people have been able to see things they've never seen before. So that's, that's good. Yes, we are front runner. If you take any, uh, perhaps it's not so obvious now that you don't walk down the high street and you see engineering companies because they tend to be in factories that look like B&Q. So for example, if you go to the Rolls-Royce factory in Glasgow where they make turbine blades for 70% of the world's aircraft, from the outside it could be a B&Q, it could be a, it's any warehouse, but it's only when you go inside there and then see the technology involved and the skills that UK has then you can appreciate that we are world leaders in some fields. Yes, there is a, uh, there is a shortage of uh, engineers, and um, the way what Sir Diamond is, is trying to help that is that we uh, very much encourage uh, school children to become interested in engineering. And only yesterday we had a, a full one day session with uh, school children from local schools come here for the day to, and to get involved in various different engineering activities. So we had a number of different companies come here including uh, BP, the Space Science people at Rutherford and uh, some geoconsulting engineers and they spend a, an hour with the children and, and do a, some sort of interactive session and it gives the, the kids an idea of what engineering is all about be able to talk to real engineers about what you know what, what do you do and how much you get paid and all these sort of things.